Good morning. Selamat sore. Did I say it right? Selamat pagi. Cosan. Cosan. Wanakem. I think that's all I know. How are you? Did all of you wake up? Yes? Oh no. How many of you believe in miracles? Do you know? You don't have to put up your hands, just on your head. Do you experience a miracle this morning? What is the miracle today that you have experienced this morning? You woke up this morning, being able to see, being able to walk, being able to experience another beautiful day? Or did you wake up in the morning telling yourself, oh no, another day? Which would be easier for you to experience? Going through another day feeling happy, focusing on the right things, or going through another day focusing on the negative things? Which would be easier for you? Am I talking to empty space? The right things. I believe in hope. Now, Dr. Samuel Smiles, a physician and author of the first self-help book says this. He says hope is the companion of power and the mother of a success for those who hope strongly within has the gift of miracles. Do you have hope? Do you believe in hope? Do you? I do. Because I was not born like this. I was a healthy baby like that baby over there, bouncy, and I got polio when I was one. I only learned to walk by three. How many of you learned to walk at three? Or how many of you learned to walk at one? Some people walk at nine months old, yeah? Powerful. And when babies learn to walk, do they give up? They fall, and then that's it, lah. Like, don't walk already, lah. Like. Did you give up? No, right. And then after that, what happened? You, can, you still get up and then you walk, right? What about when you learn to ride a bicycle? You fall and say, I forget it, I don't ride it really. Do you continue? Have you given up any of your dreams? Are you thinking about giving up something? Probably certain studies that you don't like and say, hey, it's so difficult to learn, don't want to study anymore. Hope is when you build power with it. But hope is not just sitting down and doing nothing, right? You need to take action. So I took action at 3 I learned to walk. After that, I'm just like all of you. I love to run, I like to play games, I love badminton, even football. But eventually as I grow older, my leg become weaker. Because I played too much games, the leg became weak and I had to wear this. But I carried hope. I did not sit down and cry. Well, I did la for a while, you know. Why happened to me? La? But what happened to me still tomorrow? What happened to me? How long? How many whys? In the end, what will happen to you? You have a question mark here. What's your name? Why? Hope brings you forward, but you don't sit down and not do anything because hope carries power and when you start moving on, you find a lot of miracles happen and that's when you find your miracles inside you, the treasures inside you and that brings you into your passion in life. Do you have passion? Do you have passion? Let me tell you a little bit about having hope and passion. You know Panda? Panda? Yes? Now this story is about Amin the Panda. 
You know, Amin Panda, he, he's in the zoo having birthday party with his friends. He celebrated his birthday, so he blew off his candle. And then one of his friends, the zebra, asked him, Hey, hey, Amin, 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 what, what did you wish for when you blew your candle? What's your birthday wish, you know? So you know what Amin said? All my life, as long as I can remember, I only have two wishes. First wish is, I wish the dark circle around my eyes will go away. And the second wish was, whenever I take photograph, huh, I wish uh, I would be in colour. <laughs> what sort of hope is that? Don't we all hope for something that we want to be different? Do you hope for something that you want to be different about? I hope to look like Jennifer Lopez. I want to be as handsome as Brad Pitt. But do you know all of you are beautiful and unique just being you? 